Hey guys, welcome back to another um, Getting Started with GitHub uh, tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you guys how you can upload uh, a project from Xcode into GitHub. So this is pretty important, uh, I'll just show you guys how to do it. So first I'm going to create a new Xcode project, uh, oh, what was that, uh, I'll just name this GitHub Demo. And basically it's actually really easy. So the first thing you want to make sure you've done is uh, if I just go to uh, okay so if I go to Xcode then preferences then we go to uh, accounts what I want to do is um, I want to make sure I've gone to github and I want to make sure that my account is all set up and if it isn't you can click the plus sign add uh, a github uh, you do this one, or if it's an enterprise account, you GitHub Enterprise. But for me, it was just a normal GitHub account, and yeah, then I can just um, then I just have to uh, just link it up. Make sure you're in the same account here and here, and then you'll be all set. So here we have our uh, project, which we're going to upload to GitHub. And first thing you want to do, you go up here to source control and you create new git repositories. There's only one project for this, so I'm just going to click create. And um, now, I think that takes a while, or it might just be done instantly. If you go here, yep, yeah, okay. So uh, you go to the second tab, open this folder, and if we right click on remote, and we click on new github remote, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this github demo. And you can select your GitHub account, uh, add a description, and also change if it's public or private. I wouldn't really change the remote name, but you can change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to make this private. Uh, I'm just going to delete it after this video is finished, but like, yeah. Um, and yeah, now I can create this project. Uh, and you can see it's pushing it to uh, GitHub. Uh, I don't know if it's done. Let me just check. So if I click commit, it brings up this screen and everything seems to be done. So I'm going to go to GitHub over here, just refresh the page, and yeah, there it is. So that was really easy, and this is the GitHub demo which we just uh, created. So if we go inside of here, we can see the view controller, and this is the same view controller here. So now I'll show you guys how you can quickly um, change some things. So Oh, you see, if we make some changes, we also get this blue line next to it, so it shows what it will commit. So, if I make some changes, like print hello, uh, and then we can see the change. We can actually discard the change or just show the change, but uh, yeah. And now, if we want to upload this change to GitHub, all we we'll do is uh, you do shift con uh, command and uh, what, I think it's M or oh, N. Oh. Okay, never mind. It's been a while. Oh, Shift Command C. Oh, what? Uh, like what am I doing? Okay. Uh, oh, Option Option Command C. Okay, yeah, I was just a bit confused on my keyboard shortcuts. So if you do Option Command and C, you bring up the uh, Control uh, Commit center basically what this does is it shows you the changes you've made and you want to click on push to remote can add a description like um added a print statement in the view controller and this is just the message and if we push to remote commit one file and push and now it's pushed so uh, i'm just gonna wait for a few seconds and then I can go back to this and here it is so 10 seconds ago github demo now I can go inside of here view controller and it's here so yeah this is a really useful uh, thing to have and you can also uh, go to this and it actually creates history so that's why github is incredibly useful if you go back to the initial comment and then go to browse files you can see this is the original one so you can also use it for version control if you want to go to this one uh, you just click on this browse files and it just brings you here so yeah um, thanks for watching and if your project is uh, public then you might want to add a readme like uh, most projects do so that the 
uh, people who download it know what to do. But yeah, that was a quick and easy tutorial on how you push your Xcode project to GitHub. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!